Mr. Speaker, today Her Majesty the Queen becomes the country's longest reigning monarch. And it is, of course, typical of her selfless sense of service that she would have us treat this day just like any other. But, Mr. Speaker, while I rarely advocate disobeying Her Majesty, least of all in our own Parliament, I do think it's right that today we should stop and take a moment as a nation to mark this historic milestone and to thank Her Majesty for the extraordinary service that she's given to our country over more than six decades. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Speaker, Her Majesty the Queen inspires us all with her incredible service, her dignified leadership, and the extraordinary grace with which she carries out her duties. And I'd like to say a word about each. Mr. Speaker, on her 21st birthday, in a radio broadcast from Cape Town, over four years before she would accede to the throne, the then princess dedicated her life to the service of the Commonwealth, saying, and I quote, I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service. It is one thing for a 21-year-old to utter those inspiring words. It is another to live by them for more than 60 years. Yeah.